Hey guys, welcome back to another RuneScape video, and for this money making method, I'm going to be showing you guys a method that involves the bank deposits. Because last week, when everyone got their bank deposits, I just saw tons and tons wasted literally in Birthorpe. Like, people could have used them or given them to friends to kind of benefit from them. Even though they can't be traded, they can still help them to place them in a location that might be necessary for a friend. But today I'm going to be showing you a money making guide that involves the sinister chests and making about 4.5 to about 5 million per hour. This method will only be this profitable if you or one of your friends or a stranger has a bank deposit. Without a bank deposit, you're gonna be traveling back and forth from the bank and you only get about 1.5 million. So having a bank deposit literally like triples this method. And if you guys know any other methods that a bank deposit would be very beneficial for, go ahead and do it because it's just great to be using rather than wasting them. So today for this method, you do require 49 agility and also have a reasonable high summoning level because we're going to be filling our Pakiak, our War Tortoise, our Spirit Terror Bird with Sinister Keys. At the moment, Sinister Keys are worth 17,000 and the chest that you open, you get about 11,000 to about 12,000 profit per key. So the more keys you bring or the more keys you have, the more profit you'll make. So you travel north of Yanil, go down the stairs after you slash the web, cross the plank, go inside this tunnel, and then in the chest over here, you'll find that that is the sinister chest. Today, I'm getting a friend to follow me to place a portable bank because I personally don't have any. And you know, you can easily find friends in your clan if you have a clan or just strangers in the Granite Exchange. Or even after the raffle, you can ask people if they can follow you to place a portable bank right next to the sinister chest, which is really beneficial. Some of you might remember that this method before the portable banks actually came out were only about 1.5 million per hour. And the reason behind that is because every about five or six keys, you would have to go and do one trip. But now you can do about 35, you can even do more keys to be honest, you can easily do um, about 40 to 45 keys, but there's a lot more effort with um, banking. And I just prefer bringing about 35 keys. Now in case you do prefer to bring more, it's really up to you. But using up one sinister key will give you three Gumi Rainers, two Howlanders, one Torstall, one Irrit, one Avento, and one Guam. Which means that usually if you didn't have the portable deposit bank, using up three keys would fill up your inventory, then using up three more keys would fill up your pack yak. So for that reason, there was a lot of running up back and forth going on, but for this reason, it's really good. And also having the benefits of having herbs, just as double experience is coming up, you can easily sell these herbs for a lot more profit, which means that this method could easily become over five million per hour. But at the moment with current prices, it's about 4.5 to about 5 million per hour, also depending on how fast you are. Now, once you have used up your keys, you can easily use like a ring of dueling to travel to the castle wars, and then use like the watchtower teleport to travel to the top of the watchtower, climb down the stairs right to the bottom, and you'll be right where we started. Or you can easily travel to your Neil Lodestone, run to the bank, or, you know, whichever one you prefer to do is really up to you. But really, most of your time will be spent in this room here, using up your sinister keys. Spending about 30 seconds more on a, on a trip doesn't really matter because most of your time will be spent in here and that's where your profit will come in. As I've said already, you'll be making about 11 to 12,000 profit per key. Make sure not to pay anything above about 17,000 um, purely because the keys um, can easily be bought under 10,000 sometimes. So it really does depend on the day and how much demand there is for these items. So on this trip today of 35 keys, I spent 600,000 on the keys itself. And then after getting all my loot, I managed to walk away with about 980,000, which is close to about 400,000 profit in under five minutes. So that's really, really good profit. You can easily do it a lot faster, if you know a faster route maybe to get here. I know that there is another route involving 83 thieving, but it does have a high level requirement, of course, but it's really up to you. And if you know really any other benefits that can speed up this method, please don't forget to post it down below for anyone else to benefit from that, and that'd be really good. So thanks guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, please post them below. If you want to suggest anything for the portable banks, maybe another money-making method, that'd be really appreciated also. And I'll see you all soon with another video. Peace out.